Hey, this is Tony from Ages. This is Mike from Ages. And you're watching Anti Hero Magazine. You guys pretty much open today off. Yeah. How's it feel to be open in day two of Carolina Rebellion? It's awesome to even just to be a part of this, you know, this thing is, is killer. So, uh, and we were on the main stage, which is even crazier. So, yeah, it was cool. It was uh, a little chaotic because we, we rolled up right at the time. We just needed to load our stuff on the stage and, and get going, but it was awesome. Yeah. And uh, with festival season pretty much just starting and kicking off, are you guys playing any more festivals coming up that you can announce? Yes. Uh, we're doing Rock on the Range. Um, Friday the 19th. Friday the 19th. I think we're opening that one too. And then also we're doing Rocklahoma on the 27th. I yeah. Think. So uh, yeah, festivals are awesome. Like every time we do one of these, it's just it's crazy. Like who's you know the people you see cruising around. You know it's uh, it's like you know some of the biggest things that we've been a part of have been the festivals from this year and last. Can you guys open up on the day that Def Leppard? How does yes. it feel to kind of like share the same stage as one of those That one, I love Def Leppard. A certain period of Def Leppard I think is like amazing. I don't know as much of the later stuff, but uh, but I grew up with, you know, uh, like the Pyromania years and uh, and High and Dry and uh, and of course Hysteria too. But um, they're legends. I, you know, I have my favorite tracks. Everybody's got their favorite Def Leppard track, you know. But uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. They're legends, and it's it's awesome to be a part of something that they're you know, a part of. And with, with like going back to the festival season with that, with that and like touring and all of that, how do you guys find the balance between that and writing new material? For the Say it again. With festival season starting, how do you find the balance between monitoring your time, writing new? and then going on tour and, and playing shows oh okay well once we once we get in touring mode it's kind of like uh, that's when the writing kind of the writing stops in terms of all four of us getting together and writing new stuff we all like kind of like come up you know are always working on stuff like individually but once we once we're touring we don't really work on a lot of new stuff until we get home so uh, usually it's um, the writing sessions will you know will be a few months at a time like when we got nothing going on Generally, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But we're kind of always coming up with ideas, even if we don't sit down and work on them together. We individually are always coming up with little bits and pieces of songs, and then when we actually have time to get together in a room, that's when we sort of like start putting the puzzle pieces to get together and actually working on a full length record. But, um, and then the other thing is playing the festivals. How have you seen that? And in your fan base to people that might not have known who you are, but now they're fans. I think that's a that's a big one because uh, I'm sure a lot of people, like at this festival, for example, don't know who we are. But the simple fact that they see our our name on the list might inspire somebody to, to look it up and you know and get familiar with it. And maybe people that are here to see you know whichever other band, if they're here early enough, they can check us out. And so it's basically just being exposed to the bigger the bigger audience but I think you know something like this is you know is it's immeasurable how much it can do because it's the the, the sheer volume of people is something that we're really not used to so it's it's definitely a big push yeah. and the crowd was pretty big this morning for I mean for what you guys played at 12? 11 30. Yeah, so how was it kind of like playing in a little bit bigger crowd than it was great. I mean, it's always nice, like, festivals, I, I kind of prefer actually playing earlier because the crowd's fresh. You get people when they haven't been standing in the sun all day and they're tired and, you know. So I actually prefer kind of playing to a fresh crowd rather than playing later in the day. I mean, it would be great to play later in the day, but it's kind of, there's a freshness to it, energy to it that you don't get later in the day, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's everything that I have. Is there anything else you guys want to add that I don't want to uh, check us out agesband.com or social media agesband or anything slash agesband. Uh, it's spelled A E G E S. There's an extra E in there. That's the big one right there. Yeah, you A E G E S band. Uh, and uh, we're on tour with Chevelle right now. We'll be out then, uh, for a month. So if we're coming to your town, come see us. Come say hi at the merch booth. Yeah. That's been awesome. All for to say something else. Touring with Chevelle is pretty amazing, yeah. and uh, we're having a great time. And it just got started, so we're psyched to do a few more weeks with those guys. It's, yeah. it's been amazing.